Yo, how's it going you guys? It's Marcus Scraper and let's take a look at the S&P 500 or the SPY and get a feel for basically where we think we're going to go. Are we hitting an area that we've been expecting or is this unexpected? Were we talking about in our last update hitting some areas of resistance? Let's take a look at that. What's been expected? What's been unexpected? And let's jump into this now. Before we get in this video, if you get any value from this content, feel free to smash that like button and subscribe to this channel or whatever you want to do or don't want to do. Okay, let's take a look at this right now. We can see here that we have this nasty gap right here and we have a gap up here. And we see that basically we failed to get to this gap over here. What does this all mean? So I would have been super bullish, first of all, if we ended up closing up here and didn't have a gap over here. That would be like the most bullish thing ever. However, we didn't close above here, and that was more, like, more normal, basically. And we talked about in the last update, basically, that we thought, I think we were right around here, one of these candles here, I think we are right around here. And we talked about, basically, we thought we were going to go to the upside. However, we thought it would take a little bit of time. We thought that this 20-period moving average would start to converge with our trend line here and basically hit a converging area of resistance. Well, it wasn't this exact point right here, which I wasn't sure, I was not not saying that that would be the exact point here, but we can see that we have been hitting both areas of resistance. We closed below the 20 period moving average in both of the last trading sessions. And in addition on Friday, we had a nice touch on our trend here, this area of resistance. It was once an area of support, now it's an area of resistance, and so we can see that we had these areas converge, and that's exactly what we called out in our last update of where we thought we were going to go to, and then we said, okay, we'll follow up then and figure out whether we should be bullish or bearish in the next significant move that happens in the stock market. So let's find that out today. Let's take a look at some historical patterns that we've been seeing here and see if that gives us a hint of whether we think we're going to go to the upside or the downside and maybe and what happens in between. Okay, so first of all, one bearish note is that there's this massive gap here. Okay, now let's take a look at history. And the first thing that we've been liking to go to, we've been liking to go back to this correction and learn just everything we can about this correction. We can see here, this was a gap to the upside, had a couple moves below this 20 period moving average, and then had kind of a dance around it. Well, actually, we ended up going above it and closing above it, just having this fake out and then finally blasting off to the upside. That's definitely possible. So let's take a look at what that would look like over here. We can see here, basically, that would mean that basically on Monday, maybe we go to the upside. We get above the 20 period moving average. Maybe that means we don't actually go above our trend, but we go here. And then maybe the next day we break down below. Interestingly, but then still close above. Now, could we break down below and fill this gap here? That would be amazing if we could. I'm not sure. And then move to the upside. So that's the scenario that we just basically saw in that example. Interesting. Let's see if there's anything else that we can learn from history. Any other corrective phases that looks like what we're looking at right now. Interesting. If we look at right over here, we have this move to the downside and then a recovery to the upside and a uh, basically a rejection near this 20 period moving average, consolidation again, and a move to the upside. What's interesting about this is Basically, we had a yeah, double tap of the 20 period moving average. Did we close above this? We did close above this. We had two closes above, followed by a breakdown and one more move to the downside. Interesting. So one more move to the downside is something that actually could be something that plays out. There could be just too much optimism right now. There's you know, news about the the debt ceiling, news about maybe even inflation. There could be just several things that are getting off the table that people are kind of worrying less about. Even the job numbers, basically not an overheating economy, basically sh showing that tapering won't happen anytime sooner than planned, at least. 
So these are all kind of bullish things with the stock market at the moment. And so people might be expecting just to move to the upside. So it wouldn't be crazy. I'm not sure what the trigger would be. Maybe it's a CPI data that comes out early next week. We can see basically a significant move to the downside, actually. But how much of a drawdown should we expect? Well, how much of a drawdown... If let's say that we are in this uh, head and shoulders pattern here, so we have a low here, uh, the the head over here, and kind of a low over here. What would that look like? Okay, so we have something like this happening, right? Something like that. This is something that could actually be playing out. And once we break above the neckline, it's off to the races. Boom. So this is something that we could be watching here. And basically, if we look at this, the low here is $428.86, so I would watch $428 flat. That's kind of the area where maybe we could expect going to $428 again before going to the upside, or, or maybe it's maybe it's a little above, maybe it's a little bit below, but in this scenario, we would be not looking to make a lower low here, which was $426.36, so something above that, basically, um, we, we are looking at a you know slanted head and shoulders, so we're looking at something that could be a little bit lower than this shoulder over here. That's just something to keep in mind. But again, we wouldn't want to be lower than the head over here. Okay, having said that, so that's something that is interesting that also fulfills filling this gap down here. Now, we don't know if this is actually going to play out. We just don't know. No one knows if this is going to happen. But basically, we have this gap here. And if we end up going below this gap, end up going below the 20 period moving average, this is a good bet that this area is where we're going to go before going to the upside. Now, again, there's lots of good news. Maybe we rally off the CPI da data. We, we looked at the other scenario, and maybe it's off to the races as soon as early next week. Maybe we have that little dance around that we talked about, right? And then we're, we're, just, we're just blast off, right? So that's a possibility, too. And these are just a few different scenarios that I'm seeing here that could be playing out. But both, basically, in the medium term, are pretty bullish, right? We're looking at some bullish moves to the upside. We just don't know that in this interim time right here, is it a small thing to the downside? Is it some consolidation or is it a significant move to the downside? We just don't know what we're going to be doing in this area right here before we start going to the upside. So these are a few things, but we could be watching just simple levels. We'd be watching this gap here, watching the moving average, the 100 period moving average, and seeing what is unfolding and which of these scenarios are playing out. Well, I hope you guys got some value from this content. If you haven't already, smash that like button, subscribe to this channel for more content like this. I'll catch you guys in the next one.